Resource Management The key to successful projects and excellent project management is finding the right resources. What makes a resource right for your project will be based on a couple of contributing factors. Some of these factors are The resource must have the right skills or attributes for the task. If the resource is a person, you want to make sure they're trained or at least trainable. However, if they must be trained, make sure you have the budget to train. Having an unqualified or inexperienced resource can interrupt timing, delay tasks, and end up costing you a lot more time and money. The resource must have enough time to complete the task according to your schedule. You won't want a resource that is so busy with other things that your task won't be completed on time. The resource must have the ability to commit to your task. If you have to get permission from someone else to use this resource, do so before you assign the resource to a task. The resource must have a cost that fits your budget. These are just the basic requirements for a resource. You must also consider other factors such as whether the resource can work with your team and if they have access to the technology to communicate and share with you. Don't forget to keep in mind how well this resource will work with the rest of the team and if they're going to be reliable or not. These are all important to the timing of your task as well as the project as a whole. You need to find a resource for a task in project. Perhaps a task is one that you need to assign an employee or a contractor to it. However, which employee or contractor fits your budget and the skills required? Which of them is available to work and get the task done? Project 2013 has two ways that you can find resources within the program. First, you can categorise resources by skill or any other criteria using the resource information dialog box. First, let's go to the resource sheet view. The resource notes area of the dialog box can be opened by double clicking on a resource to open the resource information box. And then click on the notes tab. In this notes field, you can write down the notes about the resource, such as skill and availability. The code field under the general tab in the resource information dialog box allows you to rank resources by cost, skill, or the ability to work with others. The custom fields tab allows you to note specific skills and search for resources with those skills. To find a resource when you need it, first make sure a resource view is showing, such as resource sheet or resource usage. Then go to the task tab and click the downward arrow to the right of find. Select the find option. In the find dialog box, type the text you want to find in the find what field. In the look in a field list, select the field name that you want to search. In the test box, choose a criterion. Choose up in the search field if you want to search backward from your current location, which is a selected cell. Otherwise, choose down. To begin searching, click the Find Next button to find the next occurrence of what you're looking for in the project. It's very important that as a project manager, you also manage the resources that are allocated to tasks and make sure that those resources are going to be available for the task when you need them to be. This is critical if you're going to stay on schedule. You do not want your resources to be overbooked. In this section, you're going to learn about managing availability and allocation at the same time. This is because they go hand in hand. You cannot allocate a resource that's not available, and if a resource is available, you have to make sure that you do not over allocate it. There are three things you can do to make sure that your resources are available and do not become over allocated. You can keep an eye on your project plan. By going to the resource graph view, you can spot overbooking tasks. You can spot overbooking on tasks. To view the resource graph view, click on other views and go down to resource graph. You can also track the workload of individual resources. Take note of people who have put in a lot of overtime just to keep up with the schedule. They may be over allocated and you don't want them to burn out. To track your resources, go to the resource usage view. Go to the resource name column and select the resource that you want to track. The tasks that are assigned to the resource are listed underneath your resources name. You can also ask your resources. Take the time to ask if everything is going okay. If someone is overworked or running behind, you can adjust the schedule or bring in other resources. If you ever discover that a resource has been over allocated and you need to change your situation to keep on schedule for the project, there are quite a few things that you can do. As a project manager, you want to take action immediately so that your resource does not remain bogged down and cause unnecessary delays or conflicts. This may require changing resource assignments as well as any number of other remedies. These remedies include reassigning the task, adding an extra resource, delaying a task, substitute resources, increase the span of dates that the resource is available to increase availability, which may mean granting overtime, or decrease task duration. Resource leveling sounds like you're going to go in and destroy all of your resources because they're dared to fall behind on your schedule, but it is not. 
Resource leveling is actually a calculation that Project does to try and help you resolve over allocation of your resources. When you level a resource, you can make changes on your own or let Project do all the calculations for you. If a resource is over allocated, Project delays all tasks that involve over allocated resources and use up any available slack. When there is not any more slack available to use, Project then makes changes based on priorities you've entered for tasks and dependencies, as well as task constraints such as finish no later than. If you do not agree with the changes Project would make, you can reverse the actions. To level resources, go to the Resource tab, and then click on Leveling Options. You'll see the Level Resources dialog box here. You can choose Automatic or Manual. Automatic lets Project level your resources every time you change the plan, and Manual means that you have to return to this dialog box every time and click the Level Now button. If you select Automatic, Enable clear leveling values before leveling checkbox. This makes it so previous leveling actions will be reversed before you level the next time. Now set the leveling range. You can either level the entire project or level a date range. Click the arrow beside the leveling order to make a choice. Standard will consider slack, dependencies and constraints. ID only will delay or split tasks with the highest ID. That means it will be the last task in the project. Priority and standard considers task priority as a first criteria when making choices to split or delay tasks. This is instead of using up slack. Select from the remaining checkboxes to see how project will level. Within available slack means that none of your critical tasks are delayed. Your finish date for the project will be maintained. Adjust resource assignments means that project may remove or change assignments. Splitting tasks in remaining work in the project means that some tasks will be put on hold until resources for the tasks become available. Level resources with the proposed booking type relates to how firm you are set in using that resource. When we created resources, you probably noticed the confirmed or proposed booking type. Confirmed will mean that you are set on using it, while proposed means you are not. Level manually scheduled tasks also mean that tasks that you've manually scheduled are also leveled. Click level all or level now to start the leveling process. Otherwise, click cancel.